Asus is back with another AM5 motherboard to shake up the gaming scene, the ROG Strix B850F Gaming Wi-Fi. This board promises a mix of solid features and affordability, possibly making it a great option for mid-range builds. But how does it really stack up? Let's dive in and find out. The B-series motherboards took a while to come out of the market, but for the budget-conscious builders, it's worth the wait. With the B850F, you get most of the features of the high-end board at slightly lower price. That said, the Strix version is still positioned as a more premium option compared to the other B-series offerings. This is the latest addition to the Asus ROG lineup, built to support AMD Ryzen 7000 and 9000 series CPUs on the AM5 platform. AMD has committed to supporting this platform for at least until 2027, giving you a long-term upgrade path. The X870E and X870 motherboards are aimed at enthusiasts and professionals, offering the latest technologies such as multiple PC Gen 5 slots, bunch of USB 4 ports, and advanced power delivery systems for extreme overclocking. The B850 series, on the other hand, focuses on delivering essential features at a more accessible price point. While it lacks some of the high-end perks, it still provides Gen 5 support for the GPU and M.2 storage. In this motherboard, you actually still get two Gen 5 M.2 slots, but we'll discuss more about that in later on. The motherboard is nicely packaged and feels hefty in hands. I appreciate the matte finish, which not only looks great, but also helps to prevent fingerprints, a small detail that enhances the overall premium feel. The B850F gaming Wi-Fi sticks to the signature ROG aesthetic with a sleek black PCB and angular heatsinks that feature subtle but still meaningful RGB accents. It's not just the looks though, this board packs a lot under the hood. Feature-wise, it comes equipped with 4 DDR5 memory slots supporting up to 192GB of RAM with speeds up to 8000 mega transfers when overclocked. Keep in mind though that hitting those speeds depends on combination of your CPU, RAM and motherboard. For most users, you'll still get excellent performance at lower speeds. Across the board, there are plenty of fan and RGB headers, as well as headers for the USBs. You've got some on the side and some on the bottom. Let's move to the expansion options. The B850F includes a single PC Gen 5x16 slot that is directly connected to the CPU for your GPU, ensuring maximum performance. Additionally, it has one more PC Gen 4x16 slot that connects directly to your chipset via four lanes. Do note that using this will disable the bottom left M.2 slot as they share the lanes. The real standard here is the M.2 storage. Asus has included four M.2 slots, each designed to maximize performance and flexibility for various storage configurations. The two Gen 5 x 4 slots are directly connected to the CPU, offering unparalleled speed for tasks like gaming, video editing, or running virtual machines, where the low latency and high bandwidth are critical. These slots are capable of taking the full advantage of the latest PC Gen 5 and Vimy drives, delivering up to 128 gigabits of data throughput. Meanwhile, the two Gen 4 x 4 are routed through the chipset, providing robust support for additional high-speed drives. The design allows for strategic setup where Gen 5 slots can house your primary OS and game libraries for maximum speed, while the Gen 4 slots can handle bulk storage like project files or media libraries. ASUS has also included several quality of life features to make the building process easier, like the additional buttons for the BIOS flashback and clear CMOS. On the main board, there is key release for the PC slots that lets you swap out GPUs with just tilting the card while the M.2 Q-Latch system eliminates the hassle of fiddly screws. Debug LEDs are another great addition for troubleshooting during the build process, especially for the first-time builders. The rear I.O. offers a great mix of connectivity. There is a USB 20 gigabit Type-C port, three USB 10 gigabit ports, one of which is Type-C, four USB 5 gigabit ports, and four USB 2.0 ports. For video, you get the DisplayPort and HDMI port as well. Networking is covered with Wi-Fi 7 that uses a nice quick connectors and 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port, while audio features include two jacks and optical SPDIF out. So is the ROG Strix B850F gaming worth it? I personally think so. If you're looking for a solid mid-range AM5 motherboard with just enough features for now and a little bit more expansion for the future. While it lacks some of the extras found on the X870E series, it is certainly still exciting for its price point. What are your thoughts on this? Are you excited about these features or you think you need another motherboard that offers better value? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you think this motherboard might be what you need, 
check out the link below for more details. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more. We'll see you in the next one.